In this video, we'll balance the equation for K2SO4 plus CaNO3 2. We have potassium sulfate here, and then we have calcium nitrate. So let's go ahead and balance the equation. We have two potassium atoms, and we'll use a bit of a trick here to make this easy. This will work with many of the double displacement reactions. We have this sulfate ion, SO4. We have it here, and we have it here again. It's a polyatomic ion. It stays together. We're just going to count it as one thing. We have one sulfate ion here. We have one calcium. And then the nitrate, another polyatomic ion. We have it here. We actually have two of them here. Then we have the nitrate over here. It stayed together. We're going to count it as one thing. One times the two, two nitrate ions. Product side, one potassium, one sulfate, one calcium, and one nitrate. So it makes it a lot easier, a lot quicker to figure out how to balance the equation. We'll get the same answer in the end. This is just faster. So it looks like all I need to do is put a two here. One times two, that'll give me two potassium atoms. Those are balanced. One nitrate times two, two nitrates. We're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see how helpful it is. If your polyatomic ion appears on both sides, just count it as one thing. In this reaction, everything is going to be aqueous except this calcium sulfate here. This is going to be a precipitate. A little bit will dissolve, but most of this will be a solid, and that means it'll be a precipitation reaction. This will fall to the bottom of our test tube as a precipitate. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for K2SO4 plus CaNO3 2. Potassium sulfate plus calcium nitrate. Thanks for watching.